guys, good morning. So it is Monday, October, I don't even know what date it is, 28th? Is it the 28th? Yeah, I think it's the 28th. Um, and I'm doing a like full on day in my life video this week, so I'm only gonna film today on Monday, but I, I'm gonna try to film like every single part of my day, including morning, which you guys already saw. Right now I am in the car driving to work, hands free, don't worry. Um, I don't even have my like screen flipped up so I can't even see what I'm filming so hopefully it's recording. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys a couple things that I do to prepare for the week other than the things that you've already seen like preparing my breakfasts, having my lunches ready to go. So on Sunday, at some point every Sunday, I fill my car up with gas. <laughs> Um, this week is kind of gonna be different for me because my husband is going to bike school So he's gonna go learn how to be a bicycle cop, which I think is so cool um, It's just gonna broaden his resume and just add more things to his list of things that he does so um, He's actually gonna be at work from 8 to 4 today or 8 to 6. I think it's 8 to 4 um, so he'll be home tonight for dinner and actually this whole week he'll be home. So that's kind of exciting for me because normally Mondays and Tuesdays he's not home at night. Um, and as you guys saw earlier, normally our morning, our day of seeing each other Mondays and Tuesdays is here's the monitor, kiss goodbye, I'll see you at midnight. So it's gonna be really nice to have him home tonight. Ooh, I have rewards. You guys forget about your rewards at all? I always forget about my rewards. Okay, for 26 for you. I think I have a reward. I'll check for you. The day is over. I have a leadership meeting at 3, so I'm going to go to the restroom, fill up my water bottle, and go. But I just wanted to check in with you. Something really funny happened um, at lunch. So I got a Dr. Pepper out of the soda machine, which I don't usually drink soda, but it was been one of those days. So I grabbed a Dr. Pepper out of the soda machine, 
and it tumbled down out of the soda machine and it came out with this hole in it. You guys see the hole? So soda is like spraying all over the place. So I like had to catch it with my mouth and it was just super embarrassing because like everybody was in the teacher's lounge and they all saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally shotgunning a Dr. Pepper, which is funny because I've never done that with anything in my whole life. So I just thought it was hilarious that um, the Dr. Pepper came out with a hole in it. I had to totally suck it down out of a tiny hole. So anyways, I'm gonna go to my meeting and then I'm hoping hoping that I can make it to the gym. I've had a really bad hormonal headache like all day. So I'm gonna put some peppermint oil on my head and hope that that helps it. And then go to the gym and hope that I feel okay. Um, and hopefully I can take cash with me. If not, I still don't know what time uh, Scott will be done. So we're gonna see how that goes. But I will see you guys later in like a second. Hey you guys, so it is now 4.01 and my meeting just ended and throughout the meeting I started getting a really bad headache and feeling really like just I don't know not right so I think I'm probably gonna skip the gym and just go pick up cash and then just go home and just relax for a little bit like my headache is all in here and just really uncomfortable so I'm gonna pack up use the restroom and then I'll see you guys um, probably at home. Hey you guys, so I'm reporting to you from the car. It's 5.45. I left work at like 4.05ish, 4.10ish. I grabbed cash and then my husband called and said that he was feeling awful. And he went to bike school today all day and they were outside and in the sun and they didn't really get a lot of water. So he thinks he's dehydrated. He also has the sickness I got last week so I know he doesn't feel good. Also, Cash's pacifier is nowhere to be found, and as of current, he's still sleeping with one. So, I had to run to Target and get my husband some medicine, I had to get Cash a pacifier, and I grabbed a couple other things that we needed, like some more reusable cups um, for his milk, just cause like parts get lost and missing and stuff. So, I don't feel good either. I have a terrible migraine, but I'm trying to like do mind over matter and just think like I need to get this, this, and this done. And then as soon as this, this, and this are done, I can go to sleep and just relax. Um, I need to go home and make cash dinner. I need to go home and make myself dinner. My husband feels like crap, so he's probably gonna need me to help him with dinner. Um, we're definitely not going to cook HelloFresh tonight. I think I have some like Progresso chicken noodle soup and some crackers and that just sounds like a great dinner to me. So it's been crazy. I will pick the camera up when I get home, but this is like, this is like a day. Hey guys, so I'm now home and I have half of the dinners ready. So Cash's meal is done. Scott's meal is done, my meal is done. I'm just gonna get the chicken nuggets out of the fryer. These are hot. Don't eat them yet, okay? Okay, so this is our very gourmet dinner. Scott chose Campbell's, I chose Progresso. We both have Pedialyte and some crackers. Cash, you need some Pedialyte too? We're gonna get Cash some Pedialyte too. So I bought these cups. I'll show you which ones I like. So I like these little toss, take and toss cups from Target. They didn't have any blue ones, but I don't really care. I mean, there's yellow and orange and red in here. He doesn't care either. These are great for like nighttime milks or- <laughs> Sweetie, you gotta come eat something so you can take your NyQuil. Come on. You can do it. 
I got a migraine too. Yeah, you're really freaking hot. Okay, I finished my dinner. I don't know if Scott has finished his dinner, but I am struggling right now. I have a pounding headache, and I still have an hour and a half left before this guy will go to bed and I can finally lay down. It's moments like these that are a real struggle for those of you working moms out there, even for non-working moms, moms that stay home with their kids all day and then they have to take care of themselves and their husbands when they come home or not even for you single moms who don't even have another parent to help out. I mean, kudos to you guys. There's nights I feel like I'm a single parent because I'm home by myself. So I feel that, you know, I feel that struggle. Um, I'm definitely struggling right now, but I'm trying to continue the mind over matter. I don't have a choice but to feed my child and to get him ready for bed and to take care of him. And my husband's running 102 fever, so I don't have a choice but to take care of him. So I'm gonna try to continue documenting everything going on today all the way until I lay my head down on that pillow, but don't throw that. Put it down. Um, luckily my day at school was really great. We are starting an entire like almost month's worth of science. Uh, we're studying biology, so we're studying life science. So we're talking about life cycles for animals, animal adaptations, habitats, things like that. We're gonna move into plants, plant life cycles, plant body parts, <clears throat> things like that. It'd be super fun, kids will love it. They're gonna plant things. It's gonna be a great time. So let me just show you guys what I got at Target real quick. I got some more Pedialyte. This is the powdered stuff. This is great because it doesn't go bad. The regular Pedialyte in the bottle, once you open it, you have to use it within a certain amount of time. I think it's like 48 hours and then you have to pitch it. So I always buy the packets, that way they don't expire. Um, got some Dayquil Severe, Dayquil and Nightquil Severe for my husband. I have the syrup and I don't mind the syrup, but he will like gag. Um, I also got some tiny cold syrup because Cash is starting to get a little congested and so I bought that just in case. And then, you guys, I couldn't help it, but hold on. It's a little bathrobe for Cash because we're gonna be going up north a lot this winter and it's cold there, so I wanted to get him some kind of warm thing to wear with his jammies. And then I can't believe I bought these, but these are little training pants, little boy training pants. I'm gonna start working on the weekends when we stay home on potty training. So I figured, my mom told me that what she did was she put little underwear on us and then we were able to feel when we would pee in our pants. We would feel it, we'd feel the wet. So I'm gonna try working with those. And then he's growing so fast. Like just in the last couple weeks, he's like <coughs> grown out of his stuff. So I got him some free tea jammies. These are just a two pack. And then he is gonna wear his Buzz Lightyear jammies to school on Thursday, because it's Halloween. Um, and they get to wear costumes. But they said don't send like the good costumes, just wear like something cheapy. So we'll send him in his old pair of Buzz Lightyear jammies and then I got him a new set of Toy Story jammies. This Toy Story is his jam. Um, and that's everything from Target. And I did get him a new Wub and Up pacifier because he needs that to sleep with. Hey, are you done eating? Let's see how he did. You're getting that pippy all full of mac and cheese. You all done? Yeah, yeah, but I have water. You want some more water? Okay. You want to get out? What? Should we wipe your face? Ah! Here, let mommy wipe your face. Red 
What is this? I gave him some Pedialyte too because I figured it couldn't hurt. You want this back? Do you want this back? He's just gonna chill. He's watching Coco Melon. This is my sure shot way that I can make food and take care of the family without him making a fuss. Jack, you gonna make sure you clean that high chair for me? Thank you. I'm gonna save these and see if he'll snack on the nuggets later. How's it going in here? Okay, I'm on the internet. Is that the boy? Yeah, the parents posted that all Aww. Over. Someone tagged me and it said, is this you? Oh, will you take a picture of that? You got a phone right there. Oh. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, I posted a video yesterday of Scott's little story. I'm going to sit right here and tell you guys because it's really sweet. Sorry, honey. Them said you're not feeling good. That's fine. Do you want to tell the story real quick? Just a short version? Mm. I don't look good on camera. Yes, you do. You look fine. Hi, buddy. Hi, pumpkin. You gonna jump on the bed? You go jump on the bed. Here, let's take off your shoes. Okay. So I had um, I had a young kid. He called 911, and he hung up. And so we didn't know what you know what they wanted because they just don't when they don't talk to the dispatchers. We have no idea. So we're responding to a <coughs> an unknown trouble call, and. Um, when I got the call comments, when I got the call comments, the call comments said, um, "The this is a boy on the on the line, and he's requesting to have Happy Meals delivered from McDonald's. If that is McDonald's that he's calling, he didn't know he was calling 911. So what I did is I went went and uh, got some McDonald's from I was on my way there. I got him a Happy Meal." Ketchup and cheese only, French Hi. fries and a milk. Hi, Hi, buddy. And so we went and uh, I went to this guy's house and I saw the little kid. His name was Charlie. And he um, he went and said, you know, he was shy at first. But then I told him, I was like, I brought you a Happy Meal. And he got excited. But first what I did is I educated him on well, the importance of calling 911 and when it's needed. And to not... not yeah, you tell them, and tell them, you know, when it's not needed to, to stay off the line because we do have other people that may be trying to call in, and they can't get in. So I gave a small little education, you know, to him. He's five years old, so he only knows so much. And then um, from there, went and got him a Happy Meal and put it, you know, he was so excited, but I, um, I didn't know it was going to be that big of a deal. I just did it because that's what I do and the parents were over the topics you know excited and they wanted to take photos and it was a big deal because I guess now it's all over Facebook so um, yeah you know I whenever you have the opportunity to help somebody or you know help somebody learn but also make it a positive experience especially with the police department it's the best opportunity for community policing that's probably the that's probably you know what I think most officers should be doing and that way we can have a better name and you know instead of just we're taking people to jail because that's not all we do we I'll be honest we very rarely take people to jail we do a lot of counseling is what we do so but that's a small little story um, comment down below if you think Scott should go back to the house to see Charlie again hmm. comment down below comment yes go see Charlie if you think Scott should go back gosh you think I should go back Tell him, bring me a pizza. I can't oh yeah, you know what? I can't remember his house because it was easy. <laughs> Isn't that a sweet story? I'll have to put the pictures up, but I just thought that was so sweet.
Ash, what'd you just do? Did you poop in the bathtub? Mm -hmm. Cash? Hey, my mom, eating my popsicle. Did you steal daddy's popsicle? Yes. Look at your cute bathrobe. I know, it's a cutie. So he was right in the middle of taking a bath and he stopped. And he squatted. And he said, pee pee. And I said, are you going pee pee? He said, pee pee. I said, are you peeing? And then it happened. Plop! He pooped in the tub! So I immediately swooped him up and I put him on the toilet. And then he pooped in the toilet. And then he threw a fit. So it was a, oh, it was a, a win-lose situation. Also, he threw this in the tub, thank God, before he pooped in it. Oh, Lord. What am I gonna do with you boys, huh? Lava. So now I'm gonna empty this dishwasher and put all of the bath toys in it and disinfect them and, you know, the whole thing, so. One oh one still. Mm. Okay. I guess I am. You need to take a cold shower. It's a frog. It's a certain type of frog. Good night, goat. You're home now. Good night, goose. Good night, cow. Where's the cow? Right there. Where's the goose? This is so abnormal for me to have him home on a Monday. It's like really great. Um, this is normally what our life looks like on like a Wednesday or a Thursday or even a Friday when we have daddy home and he's helpful and I can clean up around the house while he reads to Cash and does bedtime. Um, so yeah, I just washed all the toys from the bathtub um, and sanitized I'm running it through a sanitizing wash in the dishwasher. I've never washed these toys in the dishwasher, so hopefully they don't get ruined. But they are just bath toys, so if they do, oh well. Um, I have to <laughs> take some trash out too because, well, maybe I'll wait and let Scott do that. I don't really like going outside in the dark, so maybe I will let him do that. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. What we have left to do in our night is go and watch The Rookie and take showers and go to bed. So this was an entire day in my life um, to and from school. Luckily, I did have a little help today, so um, that was nice. But I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you like these kind of like at homey videos, give this video a thumbs up. Um, I do still want to do some classroom vlogs, so uh, those will be coming. I also want to do a couple sit down vlogs. I want to show you guys some of my favorite things that I've been using lately. Um, just some products that I think I would really like to share with you guys. Um, so, anyway, I will see you guys next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.